OK, so here is a problem where we're going to use the central limit theorem. Insurance claims have a mean of £5,000 and a standard deviation of £540. So in this first sentence, we have not been told that the insurance claims follow a normal distribution. They may, they may not. Okay. So currently, we can say that the population, we don't know about the distribution, but it has a mean of 5,000 and a variance of 540 squared. A random sample of 35 claims are examined. So n is 35, so while, so 35 is greater than or equal to 30, so that means we have a sample size that is large enough that allows us to then say that the means will be normally distributed with a mean of 5,000 and a variance of 540 squared over 35. So what we want to find is the probability that the mean of the sample is less than £4,900. So the probability that x bar is less than £4,900. So we're going to use z is equal to x minus x bar over the standard error. So x is 4900 x bar is 5000 Sigma is 540, and root n is the square root of 35. So if we plug that into our calculator, so we get 4,900, take away 5,000, divided by 540, divided by the square root of 35, which is minus 1.09555. Etc. So, the probability that x bar is less than 4,900 is the same as the probability that z is less than minus 1.09557. So I use uh, the um, normal distribution tables or your TIAT stats calculator. So, second. VARS, normal CDF, from minus 10 up to um, my answer key. So I get 0.13663346.5. So 0.137 to three significant figures. So about 13.7%. Um, that would be the probability that I take a sample of 35 and the mean will be less than £4,900.